Hey Swan Ryan, so today we're going to be adding emails to our Replit AI account. So if you've ever built anything or vibe code anything through Replit or Lovable, you'll know emails can be a bit tricky to start sending through. So we're going to be using a tool called Resend and integrating that into our Replit uh, account. So if you go ahead to resend.com, it's a fantastic platform. I've been using it for all my websites at the minute that we've been building through Replit. It's so easy, it's pretty much as it's here, email for developers. Uh, so the pricing's really good. So it's zero for 3,000 emails, and then it's only $20 a month for up to 50,000 uh, and multiple domains as well. So you can use it for a lot of different uses. To be honest, I've not paid for any yet. My, most of my accounts are definitely not doing over 3,000 emails a month. So the three accounts been absolutely fine and I've probably got it installed on about 10 different sites at the minute that we've just been building and testing. Uh, so if we go ahead and just get started, sign up for a free account, I'll just log in with one we've got at the minute. And then if we go to our dashboard screen, so this is the welcome screen, the onboarding screen. If we do navigate off this, just click down to the bottom here uh, and go back to the onboarding screen. So what we'll do is we'll get our API key uh, and let's copy this and let's head over to Replit. Let's just make myself a bit smaller. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll say to our agent, can we add resend.com email service? I have my API key and also add this code. And we'll also get this code. So depending on what platform you're building with, there's a few different options here. Uh, so just add whichever one you're building with. I'm building with node.js. So I'm just gonna add that in there as well. And what I also like to do is just click the docs and just give the agent a link to the docs. This bit's Definitely not needed, but it just means it has a reference to where it can find if there's any documents available for it. Uh, so can we add up? I want to add this in there. Well, maybe we'll add this code. That all sounds good. So let's try that. Let's come back to our agent now. just to set up the API key, there it is. Let's go get it from here, copy and paste. We don't wanna save that into our account. If you haven't used Replit, it's fantastic. You get all these secrets, they're in this file. You can easily change them, see them and keep them secure. Uh, as I said, they're all secure. You can't see them even under video purposes as well. Uh, so it looks like it's updating all of our email functions. So let's just go ahead and test this. So perfect. We can send a test email and we know that's completely, that's all run okay. So all that's been implemented. So the next step is adding a domain. So we'll come across here and add a domain. So let's just get the live URL from here. Open it up. So what it would do, it would give you these MX codes and TX codes that you can add into your domain registry. It's already recognized that I'm with uh, SiteGround. So we'll just log into our SiteGround account. So depending on who your emails are with, uh, I think, this one I've got quite a few emails and domains in this account so if we come down to here let's come down to domain DNS settings and let's come back to our resend account just to get rid of so we want to add our MX records so we want it to be send priority of 10 and the destination here and create and then we also want txt record of this one with the name send again.
again. And then we also want another TXT record of that one. So that's it, you've got your three records all set up. If we go into here and say, I've added the records, it might not take. So as you'll see, it can take a few hours, depending on this. I've seen it done within 10 minutes. I have seen it done in about two hours. Uh, so just let it update for a bit, and then just come back and that should be all done. So we'll come back to our agent. You'll see we've added our secrets. It's now updated everything. It's now updated our demo feature request and send the confirmation to and the lead endpoint. Let's just make sure. Let's just see if it's updated our contact form to use the new system. So what we'll do is just use that. And we ensure all the contact forms are set up to use resend.com so I've just come back to the resend account and everything's been verified so that literally took five minutes to verify everything so it really doesn't take long and now everything's verified with that we can set up everything else so in the resend account you don't really need to do anything else everything will be in here we can see our test email got delivered fine and we will come back to replit and see what that's doing so none of the endpoints have been set up for the contact form so it's just doing that now so you can see the agent's still running it's been updating all the contact page api endpoints ctc api endpoints using the right location Okay, so it's literally, it looks like it's just updating all the support forms, all the lead forms. It looks like it's doing a few different tests. That's fine. So here it goes, everything looks like it's reset up now. All the email templates are set up. And okay, let's give it a go. So let's redeploy. Yeah, we can see we've finished, nearly finished redeploying. Here we go. Let's go to our live site. Let's just enter some tests. So we've got a confirmed email here go to our resend account perfect we can see it's been delivered and we can see that's been delivered as well so we definitely know the account is sending emails you can click in you can see what email it's done you see it's sent and delivered time so you can see all your data all your emails so it looks like it the system so i've never even tested this i don't even know what the ai built for our contact form system so it's the first time i'm seeing this so it looks like it sends a message to the admin and then a message back to the client so that comes to the admin and that goes to the client saying we've received your message and we'll come back to you so i've i've not even set any of these numbers up or the names or the text so this all needs to be changed anyway but this is what it's just done after a one click set up the website kind of thing let's just that's a test email that was sent we can see all the emails come through. You can have a quick look around the uh, resend database. You can do broadcast, you can do uh, transactional emails, marketing, and you can upgrade your different accounts. But it's a fantastic platform just to get some basic contact form emails from your Replit accounts. It's so easy to set up. That literally took five minutes, especially when you know how. You get all your logs, you can see everything that's been going through, you see all your statuses, everything. And then you can set up a few different emails that you want to send into as well in your domains if you want. It's all in here, you can see all your metrics, all the emails that have been sent. So we've got three emails, that was our test one, I one to admin, one to the user that got sent. So you can see everything's working as it should. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.